Kids Church. I hope you're all doing well. I have three announcements for you. First, go check out the slideshow of Wants and Kids on the RMCC YouTube Kids channel. Second, Mr. Josiah, uh, he has a new series on the channel called What Puzzles You. Go check it out. Third, Tender Roots Kids. That's kids under the age of five. Check out your new lesson with Miss Stephanie. And now, here's Pastor Hugh with this week's Bible lesson from Exodus 14, the parting of the Red Sea. Good morning. We are in Exodus chapter 14, and the children of Israel have come to the Red Sea. It's a super famous chapter in the Bible. But did you know, this chapter in the Bible is mostly about God's hand. Did you bring your hands with you this morning? I hope so. Hey, why don't we count all the hands that are in your room? Okay, can you do that really quick? And write it down if you're taking notes and send it in to Miss Lana. There's some more questions. Let's see, of all the hands in your room, I hope you've counted them all. Who's got the softest hands? Who do you think has got the softest hands in your room? How about the prettiest hands? Who's got the prettiest hands in your room? Who's got the biggest hands in your room? Okay, one last thing. Who's got the strongest hand in your room? This chapter, we're gonna look at how strong God's hand is. So, why don't we get on the move here? We'll look at some more things. You know, this story about the Red Sea reminds me about the gospel. You see, God sent his son to show us how much he loves us. And God loves to take our hand and look after us. But they are stuck in between the rocks and the sea. And now, who's coming after them? Pharaoh, his giant army is coming down and they are trapped. They are just losing their minds. And, well, I'll give you some options to guess. What did they say? Did they say, A, God's got this. Did they say, B, we're in this together. Or did they say, C, we're all gonna die. Well, if you guessed C, you'd be correct. They were so scared. Okay, this next part is a bit of a stretch. You see, God tells Moses, to stretch out his hand over the Red Sea. And God is going to do something amazing. You see, because they're, they're trapped, right? They're in an impossible situation. They, they cannot get out of this. And this also reminds me of the Gospel. Jesus does something that's impossible for us. He stretches out his hands and he goes to the cross for us so that we can be forgiven it's it's a solution that nobody thought of it's a solution that is impossible but it worked and Moses stretches out his hand over the Red Sea and God splits open the Red Sea into two parts and he puts a dry pathway right through the middle. Two giant walls of water on each side and the people can get across. It's amazing. It's, it's an impossible solution and God does it. It's so cool. Okay, here we are at this next part. Something else you can do with your hand. Something that is pretty simple. We've learned it many times stop can you do that stretch out your hand and make a stop sign that's what god does to pharaoh you see pharaoh's still trying to chase the people i know isn't it crazy he's trying to get right into that that a red sea that's opened but god won't let him because he's got a giant pillar of fire there but god this is where it gets a little crazy he lets pharaoh go through and start to chase the people and the people have gotten all the way through the Red Sea and now Pharaoh and his army are 
are, are in the middle of the Red Sea and God is going to do something that is like a this for this part you need to make a fist with your hand and this is where God really shows his power he takes his fist and he smashes it down on Pharaoh you see he collapses he drops the walls of water the Red Sea falls down the pathway is gone and all of the Egyptian army is drowned and they're destroyed in one punch that is powerful and God shows that he has no enemy that can beat him and that's sort of what Jesus showed when he rose up from the dead that's the last part of the gospel that is the most amazing part is that death couldn't keep him down he rises up from the grave and he has no enemy that can defeat him he has won the battle over the power of death and over the slavery of, of sin that was over us. And Jesus gave us that freedom. It's amazing. So that is an amazing thing to see that when we look at the story of the Red Sea. After that sea came down on the Egyptian army, the people could not believe it. They went up to the other side and they looked down and they saw that Egyptian army was gone and they were so thankful to God they did one last thing they they just believed him the Bible says they believed him and they trusted him and I think they lifted up their hands in praise to God to say thank you and he is so amazing he loves you so much too I hope you think about those things read through chapter 14 with your family and see all the amazing things that God did with his hands take care love you guys we'll see you next week bye